Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and this video is take two of a video released earlier which didn't go well because I missed some pretty important things and it didn't do what I wanted it to do in terms of providing accurate information. So take two, let's try it again. So what I wanted to talk about was using the settings inside your NVIDIA control panel to change some of the saturation and colors and that you know by doing so you could make some of your games look better. However, what I didn't really mention in the last video is that it is completely dependent on the monitor that you have. So in the event that you have, I guess, a really good monitor where you have really good color and everything, you don't want to touch anything at all because everything's fine. In my case, however, I have a monitor that is I guess a little bit undersaturated and the color just doesn't pop as much for me on my screen. However, when I recorded it and you know people watched it on their monitors, they had a different color reproduction than what I was getting. So the point was kind of missed, especially when I was trying to show a difference. So anyways, hopefully the second take it'll a little bit better. First I'll obviously go over the instructions and then I'll show you a video that I took. It's not perfect of my screen, but should show you the difference. Anyway, so assuming that you are running on an HDMI first, the first thing you can do is to change one setting, which is the output dynamic range option, go from limited to full. And that should help a little bit with colors. Now, once this is done, the main thing that I felt that helped me, at least with my monitor, is if you go into the adjust desktop color setting, there's a way to change something called the digital vibrance. Now, 50% is what you have it by default, and you can tweak it depending on your screen. For me, once I sort of moved the digital vibrance up to about 65% uh, to maybe 70, World of Warships, for me on my screen, looked quite a bit better. And here's an example. This is at 50%. You'll notice at 50, the blue isn't really that blue, and the greens don't really pop, and this is at 70 you'll notice the blue becomes a lot more blue and it pops out a lot more and the green becomes a lot more obvious. See the contrast? See the difference? And again, it's sort of monitor specific. So really you have to play around with your monitor to see if you can get a setting that works. Other people on my Discord have tried it and said that they've found some results that work for them. Anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed this little tip. Um, hopefully it makes your game look better. Except for all that, take care, have yourselves a good one. And I'll talk to all of you again soon.